but we've just gone through we've just sh shown you how to build uh, an attacking and a uh, a possession based tactic and and an attacking based tactic we're now going to try and show you how to build a, a defensive tactic it's a completely at the wrong club at liverpool however it's just a tactic um so we're going to start with whereby we can't clear the slot the, the slots we're going to edit the tactic though and as you can see if you click down here you'll get a, a you know a fluid a route one quick transitions direct passing you'll get your fluid counter attacks your direct counter attacks your your cantonaccio which uh, which is basically looks to slow down the opposition um to looks looks basically to nullify and then there's the park the bus which is low and structured defensive and restricts space in the, in the final third um my advice if if you're, you're going to build a, a defensive style is to look at all is to look at every single one from route one even though route one isn't exactly a defensive strategy it's just to just to well right we'll put we'll put a route one on and we're going to go four four two or sorry four four one one that's what we're going to do right so we're going to go again we're going to uh create new tactic uh, only this time uh we've got route one let's go direct counter attack um let's click that let's hope it's got a four four one one is uh, it certainly does as you can see unknown unknown i don't know if that's if that's because it's in a in, in the beta version but we're going to click that anyway we, we're going for the same style all the way well, let's click again let's create new tactic um let's go for a counter natural rather than a, a park the bus and uh, it doesn't have a 441 in there so what we're going to do is we're just going to click in and we're going to find that 4411 and it's got the completely wrong roles and duties or uh for, the, for that particular formation and certainly for this tactic however you've got to think well the reason why you're playing defensive is because you're going to come against teams which are much stronger than you they're going to dictate the player you're looking to break them down however the reason why i put them all up there was because i wanted you to yeah, when you do this you want to be looking at the mentalities as you can say cautious cautious and the let you up was was balanced but this wasn't the the mentality uh because if you if you went at the tactic and you click into cantinaccio again you put a proper formation of 532 in it will be defensive it was because we went 441 one that it just gave us a, a cup it give, didn't give us the right one so my my mistake on my part so let's start with the 441 cautious and what we're looking at here is what it does out of possession that's the first thing we do but as you can see it's it's lower it's using tighter marking it says getting stuck in but it's got a standard line of engagement what does it do on the transition it regroups it counters where does it distribute the ball to to the target man what does it do in possession it's going to hit early crosses it's very narrow it's play for set pieces be more disciplined pass and directness extremely direct tempo is higher which is surprising i thought it would uh, be lower and it's time wasting is frequent However, let's choose that's that's the cautious 4411 route one. Now if you click into two, which is the cautious 4411 direct, um this is direct counter-attack, the tactical style is written at the top here. So we're going to, once again we're going to start with an out of possession because that's our primary tactic part of the tactic is the defensive. As you can see, once again, it's narrow, lower defensive line, lower standard line of engagement. <coughs> pressing intensity is more urgent tackling gets stuck in but we're not using tighter marking in transition 
Uh, as you can see, it's neither counter press or regroup. It's basically down to the player's decision making that will put them into this position. When possession is being run, it's counter attack. As you can see, everybody from this tactical corner that is going to get forward. Uh, distribute quickly. Why? Because it's trying to catch the opposition out of in your half and out of position. In possession, it's going to play for set pieces. It is a standard width. There's no mixed crosses. Pass. As you can see, once again, passing directness and tempo is high. Well, I think what I should have done was uh, was showed you a fluid counter attack rather than a. Uh, so we'll take the cautious one out. The the cautious. We'll delete this one. We've we've seen that. We've absorbed the information given there. We're going to create that new tactic. We're going to look at uh, fluid counter attack now. We do have a four four one one. We're going to click this one in. So we're going to look at the the cautious fluid counter attack. Uh, once again, very low back line, very narrow. Get stuck in is the tackling. They want to win the ball back. Uh, the transition. They are putting in the counter press and the counter. Distribute quickly. In possession, passing shorter, and the tempo is slightly higher. It's not as much. It's run at defence as well. <coughs> so once again, I'm quite surprised by that particular approach. Uh, but now we're going to take a look at the the Catenaccio, which is basically this is basically the Catenaccio is basically to it looks to slow the game down. It looks to slow the opponents down basically because it's it's denying space as you can see two banks of three with two in between and that's trying to make that difficult to pass through so let's take a look what it looks at out of possession once again it's lower and lower and the tackling is not get stuck in notice the difference one this is basically trying to deny space it's not trying to to win the ball back quickly so it's it's get stuck in and use tight it's there's no get stuck in uh, but it doesn't have stay on feet neither it's basically down to decision making is down to the player uh using tighter market in transition uh it's wanting to to regroup and once the players back into position position quickly as soon as it's lost the ball so you can so it's back to containing you as the as the opponent but when possession is being won back as you can see seven players are bombing forward well it's two should be already up there but you know you're getting five players getting used in this transition process to, to come back get forward come back get forward in possession it's more direct passing once again it's got some frequent creative freedom is be more disciplined play for set pieces more direct passing and the tempo is lower it's looking to keep the ball as well so more it's it is like but because it's well it's lower and got more direct on it's basically it's looking for the pass rather than looking to keep the ball you know it slowed the game down so you know you, your players can can get can get a break from the defender but it's also putting the ball in this is why its intensity is not not too high whereas the rest you know the fluid counter attack the intensity is pretty high uh same with the cautious so which so that should give you an idea of, of how to build your, your clean slate so once again um you would look at your your team report um, obviously Liverpool is the wrong club to do with that unfortunately uh, I, I've, I've started Liverpool here so, so I've as you can see it's given us some good centre half some good midfielders that's uh, so what we want to do here um, we want to ignore we're going to ignore that for the time being uh, we're going to do our own clean slate formation uh, we're going to clear the slot we're going to clear the slot and because we're on this one we're going to edit it we, obviously you can't change it we're going to create our own style um we don't really want to go 
the 4-4, four, four, sorry, the 4-1, 2, two one that we've got out there for Liverpool, simply because it's it's too many players who are playing in a, in a forward or a striker role. It's not, it, Naturally, it's not defensive. So we're going to go play the 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. And as you can see, straight away, the defensive looks sort of okay, but the midfield is all over the place. The attacking role is 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 decent, but we don't want an attacking playmaker, or do we? So what we want to look at first is what we want to do out of possession. Well, we want to soak up the ball. However, we want this lower as well because we want them playing back there. Remember, look, think back to what we've just seen. We're going to make it a bit more narrow. We're going to use tighter marking. We're going to we're not we're going to leave this up to the individual, rather than remember the decision making of a top player will be that will more or less more or less be high. So <coughs> we're going to leave that up to the individual. However, if you're in the low division, um, you could say stay on. You could say get stuck in. Sorry. However, when you do get stuck in. It instructs players to be aggressive and strong in the tackle. So this probably will increase the risk of fouls and disciplinary actions. So if you've already got a small squad, it's probably best if you don't do this. However, that's what we're going to. That's what we're going to do here, right? So we're going to regroup. We want our players back in the position. A bit like the Cantonaccio. We want our players back in the position. We don't really want them. We, we want to deny space. We want them to make the mistake. However, for this particular one, we're going to play full shape. Now, you might be thinking this is very bizarre, but this is... We're going to build the defensive one first, and then we're going to free it up. So we're going to build our defensive one first. So what do we want to do here? We want to do we want to distribute it long? Do we, do we want to distribute it quickly? No, we just want to. We deny in space. We're going to try and be a little bit possession here. As a defensive, we want our players in possession. So we, our passing directness. Slightly more direct uh, tempo. Oh, this is a damn. Um, let's take another look. Yeah, we'll make this one our defensive one, and but we we still we still our tactic is we still going to be looking for the ball over the top. Um, so so we want to be be more disciplined, obviously. Uh, and we want to play for set pieces. Uh, our tackle width, uh, we may as well go completely very narrow, which will bring us in naturally. So that's our defensive shape. So what we want to do now is we want to change, because if you look at, uh, at a winger, a winger, um, Sorry, if you look at Sadio Mane, don't forget about the players. Just uh, well, he you doesn't. You can't. You can't play there. Um, can John yeah, James Milner will probably be the only one who can. Sorry. So if you click on James Milner, and we click on the position. Now, yeah, if you look at uh, defensive winger. Sorry, we we were looking at winger. That's the position and role. As you can see, it has. It's good. It's fantastic. A winger is fantastic as a, as a forward player. However, what we're looking for as a, in a defensive duty is we are looking for things like positioning, marking, and tackling. Why? Because we're looking to sit deep. So if you click on defensive winger, <coughs> and as you can see there. James Milner has got everything that we need for that particular position. He's got aggression, anticipation, but he's also going to get forward. However, you play him on defend, he just takes off the composure, which composure and what else does he take off? Is it off the ball? Oh, passing. 
So, you know, so the composure, so he's not going to look to pick the pass um, on, on the defend duty. He's just going to try and break with the ball. Um, however, you can click wide midfielder and you can get clicks defend. Similar, he's just not going to dribble the ball out, but he is going to look to, to pick a pass. Even on, even on the defend duty. And I think that's probably it for that sort of role. So you've got a choice really of wide midfielder. Do you want him to dribble the ball out? I mean, none of them is going to fit the roles because it's Liverpool. However, the, so we're just going to drop them in the wide midfielders. If you drop in the wide, uh, sorry, defensive wingers, they drop a little bit deeper. So a defensive winger is a little bit deeper than a wide midfielder. So for this defensive mentality, we're going to play these as defensive wingers. However, as you can see, what do we want to do now? Well, these central midfielders, I don't really want them to go forward neither. But what I'm going to create here is two defensive midfielders on the defensive duty, which, well, as I say, it doesn't fit Liverpool's style. Forget about that. But I'm going to play them as defensive midfield players. And there I have a, a complete that's going to break them down. Remember, we are playing 4 4 4 1 1 1. This is my deep line playmaker. I am going to play him on support. No, sorry, I'm going to play a Roman playmaker. He's going to play there. And him, I'm going to play. As a pressing forward on the attack. He's not going to drop back all that much at all, even a pressing forward. But he is going to, you know, stop them messing around. And, you know, if the ball goes back, he is going to harass them a, a touch. Not much. However, this player here, this Roman playmaker, he will carry the ball to a certain extent. Um, once again, we're going to have to press a, a midfield player who can play there. Uh, a Roman playmaker on the support. He is going to dribble the ball slightly. He is going to be our attacking outlet. Um... And he is going to look for this ball. When he gets the ball, that pressing forward is going to try and get on the last defender and try and get forward. It's a very, very basic tactic. These players here are going to try and dribble out. Um, but if, now, if you look at if now if you look at the counter here, because we've played them as defensive midfield players, to sit in front of these players here, the defensive midfield players aren't going to get forward. However, I mean, let's say for argument's sake, I put them here. Nabi Keita and Jordan Henderson to create a 4-5-1. A Once I click into the transition and I click into counter, all five of them are going to go. So this is a, a very restrictive... A very restrictive, structured... midfield however we want to go back to the defense i've seen something in the defense um the reason why even though these are better at, as wing backs however if you click into full backs as you can see the full back if you read the description the full back is a key player in modern football having to supplement his traditional duties with overlapping runs this next line is the key line primarily a defensive player so what we're looking for here is you've got you've got to remember that we're not going to play this as Liverpool. This is so we've got a no nonsense fullback and defend. What will he do on the no nonsense fullback? He's just going to hold position. He's going to be very direct. <coughs> but because he's no nonsense, when he gets the ball, he's just going to get rid of it. So just just for this complete 
we're going to do this. We're going to do no nonsense centre back defend, no nonsense centre back defend, just for this formation. Now straight away you can see there's there's a lot of red areas, major issues. You see, this is major issues. But we are just looking to soak up pressure, get the ball forward. I mean, you could put this on call counter now, as you can see, because these full backs are on defend, only three are now getting forward. It's still giving you the same sort of major issues. But that is our is our defensive. We're gonna to have to save this one for just uh uh, we're just going to call this one there, uh, uh, Dafty. Uh, because we wouldn't, we wouldn't be playing this. Never in a million years would you be playing that for Liverpool. Uh, we're going to load it in again because you should basically try and keep the same tact uh, tactics, and this is your tactics. What you're doing here in this bar. And, uh, you know, because you are going to come up against teams that you're not going to be playing where you're going to be outclassed every single game. You know, even in the league, you're going to be coming up against teams that you will be round about your equal. So we're going to play cautious. And, and what we're going to do here, we're just going to click on counter. We're going to keep all that the same. Uh, but we're just going to change the rules. Remember, defensive winger was a little bit more defensive. Uh, let's change this to uh, a wide midfield player. And he now is also going to look for this pass. We're not going to change any of them. Uh, we're going to come to full back. And we're going to change the full back uh, to defend. As you can see, a couple of these are starting to go off. Can you see? These were major issues on uh, and no knots and fullbacks. Because he, he he can now overlap, they've gone off. Um, it's still highly structured. It's still going to look for this direct ball over the top. Um, but we've, that's all we've done. Now, we can, we've got the counter. We don't want to throw too many bodies forward. Does this counter come on? Because uh, he's still full back defend. Let's throw these in. We've got four players back there. Let's throw these in. Now by right of the transition, they should be on. There they are on. So we've now, <coughs> we've still got this tough looking core of four here. <coughs> I do apologize. Once again. But now we've got three people going forward, but we've also got two in support. It's gone from highly structured to structured. So it will still go forward pretty direct. But when they lose the ball, these players these players will go up and support the tack as well. So we've now got we've gone from from two players going for two players going forward. It in a phase, then we've got two players in the next phase, and then we've got nothing because it's very defensive. We've gone to two players in a phase going forward, then two, then another two. So we've got three phases there. Three phases of the attack. And that's basically how you build a defensive tactic. You know, more players are on defensive. And more players, because these roles here are built for, uh, whereas for these roles, if what you're looking at a defense, as a defensive midfield player, if you look, have got positioning, marking, tackling. You know, that's what the job is. To, to stop them from, from breaking you down. Whereas if you look at an, an attacking position, 
you know you've got roles like passing dribbling off the ball they're all you know so the difference between attacking and the defensive is quite is completely different so So you've got to find the, like I say, you've got to find the balance and the best way to start the, in, in which direction to take your club when you start is by looking at club info and looking at your general media prediction. This is second. Liverpool should be fighting for the title.